welcome to another video One Stories with Scylla. Today we are reading Doug the Bug That Went Boing. Let's jump right into the video. Hello again, friends. Today we're going to read a book about a bug. Do you like bugs? They're very fun to watch actually. They have very interesting lives. Today we're meeting Doug. Doug the bug that went boing. This bug likes to jump. This book was written by Sue Hendra. She's also the creator of Barry, Keith and Norman. Have you read that book before? Hmm. Don't you just love jumping? I think jumping is a really fun activity, just like duck. Oh, all sorts of different bugs. Which bugs do you see? I see a butterfly, a spider. There are so many different kinds of bugs in the world. Oh, Doug has a friend as well. Let's meet that friend. Doug and Trevor had been best friends for a long time. They played together every day and didn't like to be apart. One day they were playing berry ball when... Oh! Oh dear! Bad luck Trevor, said Doug. It's your turn to get it down. Look where the ball went. Up in the flower. Is that a real ball? It looks like a fruit, actually. Do you know a very small blue fruit? It's your turn to get it down. It's not, said Trevor. It is too, said Doug. Is not, said Trevor. You always make me climb up there, said Doug crossly. You always say it's my turn when it's not. I don't want to play anymore. Fine, said Trevor, and he turned away in a huff. <laughs> but just then, a great big shovel came down and scooped Doug up. <laughs> oh no, what on earth was happening? Doug, cried Trevor. Trevor, cried Doug. Taking me. When he finally opened his eyes, Doug got quite a surprise. Oh, Trevor! He held help, but Trevor was too far away to hear him. Oh, I've got to get home. He's way up high in a flat on the windowsill. Oh no. How is he going to get home? Then he heard a funny noise. Bump! It was a very dizzy fly. He was banging his head against the window. Uh, maybe you should try the door? said Doug politely. The door? Great idea! Why didn't I think of that? I've been here for days. <laughs> oh, how can I ever thank you? said the fly. Doug tried not to laugh. Well, he said, maybe you could take me with you. I'll try, said the fly. You look quite heavy, but here goes. Don't drop me in there, 
cried Doug. Why? Or on then he grasped. Oh, oh, wee! But that's spiky. Do you see it? That would hurt. And definitely don't drop me there. Oh, phew! Oh, that was close. But the fly was starting to wobble. Uh, uh, don't uh, think I can hold on and then... Choo! Doug shot through the air and span round and round on the ceiling fan. <laughs> then boing! He bounced off a sponge cake, boing, and popped up a pedal bin, boing, which sent him through the spinning through the air, super boing, boing, towards the toaster, bing, he smashed through the toaster and began to fall, Ooh. he grabbed the first thing he could and swung, Ooh all the way back Whoa, to exactly where he had started. Doug had to admit things were going very well. <clears throat> <clears throat> Will I ever see Trevor again? He said sadly. Then he heard a familiar sound. It called. It was the fly buzzing out of sight. And that was when Doug noticed that the window was open. Hey, wait for me, he called. How was he going to get out now? Then Doug had an idea. Ha ha ha, Doug wants to get out. Can you imagine? He went through all those things, flew with a fly and bounced from up and down and side to side and he went exactly back to the windowsill. Oh, now they can go out. Whee! Home I go, cried Doug. This was an excellent idea. Look, they just took the flower out of the pot and he's holding on to that and he's going down. The friends were so happy to see each other again. I'm sorry I wouldn't get the ball, said Trevor. I'm sorry I got so cross, said Doug. Tell you what, said Trevor. How about a game of berry ball right now? You're on, said Doug. And all was well until... Oh no, it happened again. The ball's up in the flower. Doug looked at Trevor. Trevor looked at Doug. I'll get it, said Trevor. Let me, said Doug. No, no, it's definitely my turn, said Trevor. And they were so busy arguing. No, 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 it's me. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's my turn. No, I'll get the ball. Don't worry. They didn't hear a familiar sound. <laughs> Catch, said the fly. <sighs> and they all played happily till the sun went down. As you know, when sun goes down, it's time to go home. A game of berry ball. Which berry is that? Ah. The world of Doug and Trevor. They are such good friends. Look at that. They are so happy together. Do you have a friend that you feel so happy with? Like these ones? Do you like playing with a ball with them? like playing catch or maybe hide and seek. 
It's so nice to be with people you love. I do hope you have friends like that. I know that you might have missed them this summer, but when everything gets better, you're going to spend an excellent time with them. So don't worry. I love hanging out with my friends. I like playing games. I like playing board games. You know, the ones that you play on the table. I like hanging out with them. I like going on a bike ride with them. There are so many things that could make you happy. I hope you like this wonderful story of friendship. Please do not forget to subscribe if you like the video. We are a big family now. Until next time, see you!